Hi, everybody. It is NBA Draft Day, finally. Finally. Hey, just for the fun of it, let's start the clock. You know, it's a great day draft. Very sad day, Frank. Cush passes away at the age of 88. Cush had some great success with ASU and even better, some great stories. Oh, then no doubt the great stories. Who, who can forget in Camp Tanazona the mountain that, that he would make his players go to the top of? You know, Frank Cush is one of those old guard coaches who, who is an authoritarian and kids and guys would never dare question. That mold doesn't really work now, but back in the day, he really symbolized the best of what Arizona had to offer in terms of sports. He identified Arizona. And I mean, he just what he did was legendary. Yeah, he put Arizona State football he on the did. map, something That's that exactly. needs to be done. Again, <laughs> Again, right, exactly. Hey, with the NBA draft, uh, I'm going to give you my top four. Ready? Okay, I'm ready. All right, it's Markel Fultz, it's Lonzo Ball, mm -hmm. it's Jason Tatum to the Celtics, and right. it's Josh Jackson to the Suns. Done, write it down. How do you feel about the draft? Today? Well, I think it all starts at number three. I think you're right about number one and number two. I think the Lonzo Ball to pick to the Lakers is a done deal. I don't think that has ever not been the case. It's just what the Celtics want to do. I think a lot of people think Josh Jackson's the third best player, but Jason Tatum fits the Celtics better. He gives them right. offense, which is what they need. So if the Suns have a shot at number four, Josh Jackson's a really good haul for them, but he also carries a lot of value. And I wonder if there's going to be any trade rumor that circulates mm. that tempts them enough to deal that pick between now and the start of the draft. Yeah, I wouldn't be averse to seeing what they could get. I don't think Kevin Love for Eric Bledsoe in the pick is the answer, but no. then again, there could be something tempting. And, you know, if the Suns were smart, they might just put in a call to Phil Jackson because he's the <laughs> smartest guy in the room. Right. And, you know, I would have loved to get that Kristaps Porzingis trade happening. I don't think it's going to, but Phil might be dumb enough to make that happen. We're not dumb. We're out of time. Have a great day. See ya.